My best friend actually designed shirt for International Albinism Awareness Day. And I got it in the mail today. Let's see what they look like. So my name is Ashley Mullen. Um, I have albinism. My albinism type is OCA1 and I am actually the artist who created our NOAA International Albinism Awareness Day t-shirts. Um, and my positive thing I want to say is for everybody who has albinism, who struggles every day with their vision, um, maybe even looking like their family members, just don't give up. Um, stay strong. Prove them wrong. Because we can do the same things everyone else can. We may have to accommodate for certain things or adjust to how we learn how to do things. But we can all do the same things. We can all achieve the same goals that everyone else can. So don't give up, stay strong, and stay positive. In this picture, this is Jamie sitting with her guide dog. In this picture, this is Chastity. In this picture, this is Kayla. In this picture, this is Danielle. In this picture, this is Lauren. In this picture, this is Tiffany. In this picture, this is Heather. In this picture, this is so Bindu. So to make a very brief video, my boyfriend and I both have albinism. He is what most people think of when they think of somebody with albinism. Uh, and the reason for that is because we have different types of it. And uh, I have HPS, which is also connected to other health conditions like um, pulmonary fibrosis, um, colitis, and bleeding disorders. Um, but this is what allows me to have a little more pigmentation than what he has, and uh, that is it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kayla, and I live in Oregon. I have octubular tenuous. I cannot say that word. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, and I am beautiful. Hi, everybody. My name is Karen Scott, and I'm from Oklahoma. I have albinism. Mine is OCA1B. My positive thinking would be never give up. Um, I went to my first conference in 2012 with Noah and found out about a surgery. And I came back to Oklahoma determined to find somebody to do it. And I did. And after the surgery, I can see color and I finally be able to pursue my pas passion is photography and I am going to school online to um, pursue that so yes there is hope and like everybody told me I would never be able to drive I do have a permit and um, I'm going to finish that so I can have my license and prove to everybody it is possible you have a blessed day Hi, my name is Megan Alexander and I have ocular albinism. The statement that I would like to leave is that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. The one thing that we can control is how we internalize all of those external factors that drive into our everyday lives. So let's just remember to not let what goes on outside affect us on the inside. Let's keep it positive. Hello, my name is Isabel Toye, and I have OCA1 albinism. Uh, believe that you could do or be anything that you want to be, despite what other people may say or think of you. Uh, you could travel the world. You could jump out of an airplane. You can climb to the highest mountain peak. You can become a teacher, doctor, lawyer, artist, or even be your own boss and run a business such as myself. Uh, you may fail at these things the first, second, third, or maybe even the fourth time, but don't give up. Continue to believe in yourself, follow your dreams, and believe that you can do anything that anyone else can do. And every day may not be a good day, but there's always good in every day. So I hope you have a good day.
Hi, my name is Veronica and I have OCA. And one thing I believe is very positive about having albinism is that people like myself defy the odds that society has attached to us. There's this idea that people like myself are not successful or we are incapable of living productive lives. And in fact, many of us actually do very, very well for ourselves. We are living out our dreams, reaching our goals, having wonderful jobs and careers. So despite our differences, we are capable just like everyone else. Five people with albinism often have poor eyesight. Four, albinism is presented in many cultures and many animal species. Three, albinism does not affect mental capacity. Albinism is caused by genetic changes from both parents. Number one, people with albinism do not have red eyes and we do not have special powers. Okay, I have albinism. I have albinism OCA type 1A. There's different types of forms of albinism. I have it where I have no pigment in my hair, skin, or eyes. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more content.